What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are in the crib. Now you're probably wondering, why are you in the crib? Bro, it's been raining for like four days in a row. I can't go outside and vlog. But I'm not gonna lie to you, the streak almost ended today. But it's not because I figured something out. I figured it out. I figured out what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just uh, chalk this one up as a story time. Uh, this story time is probably gonna be like uh, my Rolling Loud experience. Pros and cons on what you need to know before you go to Rolling Loud, how I went to Rolling Loud, how my experience was. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first, I feel like the first, very first mistake I made was waiting to the last minute to get a hotel. Don't do that. Especially if it's like close to wherever you are. I was in LA, uh, I was in California. So the first, when I first looked at the hotel, it was like 450, maybe like, yeah, like 450 per night a week before it happened. And I paid like $960, almost $1,000 for three nights at a mid hotel. I think I stayed at the Hilton. It was pretty, it wasn't even all that. You know what I mean? It was pretty mid. There was broken windows. Like, it, I mean, it wasn't janky, but it was janky. Number two, if you're not old enough to rent a car, you're walking, buddy. Like, there's no getting around that. You know what I mean? I got, I'm got. i old enough to get a whip. Get a whip, bro. I get, I definitely guarantee you because you're not getting no Ubers. You're not getting not one Uber there. You're not getting one Uber back. And if you do want an Uber, you're going to have to wait at least two hours or you're going to have to walk a whole hour away just to get an Uber. I would say about 95% of people that went to Rolling Loud was walking. They walked all the way back to their hotel, to their house, wherever they was going. Uh, something that was cool though, that was cool about Rolling Loud, they had like, um, like makeup bodegas, you know what I mean? Like, there was like makeup bars and like clubs and like. Like, like mini clubs, like you're you're in a parking lot full of people and there's mini clubs like that you could go to to like socialize or whatever. I would probably say don't go. I mean, if you're okay with it you know what i mean i was okay with it i went by myself but if you want to have like the maximum experience of rolling loud i would say like make sure you bring some homies to go with you because if you don't bring no homies literally everybody runs in groups like there's not one person that's just standing by themselves, except for me like i was the only person that was like a single individual like either they had they significant other or it was like a group of six seven people that was just walking around to different concert stages and the concerts was cool i mean another thing if you don't like walking don't even do it don't even do it another thing that i didn't really like about rolling loud at least this year was it it seemed like the crowd wasn't hype enough for the artists like you know what i mean like everybody was more like Oh, let me record and focus on record. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like we're like there was no energy for real in LA, and I thought LA was the place for that. You know what I mean? Maybe it's Miami that's more, more jumping. But like, in some of the videos that I'ma put, like there's no crowd energy. Good job, man. Good job. I don't know about y'all, man, but I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. Now, when this shit come on, sing it with me. Sing it with me. Y'all know this shit? You know this shit? L.A. Sing it. Sing it. I'll tell you one there's there was one person that there was crazy energy for and it was baby tron <clears throat> baby tron came out there was a trash can flying around people was jumping it was hype that was probably the most hype concert 
there at Rolling Loud, period. I tried vlogging. I tried to put a vlog or like uh, try to record it, but like it's just way too loud, bro. Like, look at this. But it's definitely loud as hell. I might get on a roller coaster. Like on top of all three stages with performers performing music with mics, there's the clubs that's playing music, and like there's like Ferris wheels and like mini games and like you know like a mini carnival that plays like outside music and stuff too. And that, like, it's, it's just too loud, bro. Like, if you vlogged at Rolling Loud, bro, you, you got it. You <laughs> you got it. They also had, like, basketball courts there, too. They had a basketball court. Niggas in there hooping. Oh, God, they can't fuck with me, though. I'll run every nigga off that court. Nigga, I will really run niggas, you feel me? Because I'm really keen. Niggas want to get the games going. Let me know. Michael Jordan is out rolling loud. Uh, people on, you know, the usual LA stuff. There was people. There was a, a skate park. But I mean, overall, it was pretty fun. There was a couple, you know, fun interactions. But you know, most, I say like. 60% of the crowds are like kind of dead. I don't know if that's just me because I went by myself. That could be the case too, but it wasn't. This is the thing about food. There's vendors, right? And all the vendors there's nothing under eighteen dollars. Everything's eighteen dollars. You want one hot dog is eighteen dollars. You want two? Uh, nah, I got like four tacos. Four tacos for twenty dollars is still crazy. You want one burger is twenty dollars. You want sick nigga? Not even three chick three crispy chicken strips was twenty dollars bro like if you gonna go to rolling loud bro make sure you paped up make sure you got that breach on you because it's ridiculous this is me eating a taco i kind of found a quieter spot i ain't gonna lie the food here is od you want to eat eat before you get here that ass this shit got fucking tacos on the street is two dollars a piece not even probably probably less than that. Tacos on the street is, is probably a dollar fifty. Most two dollars on the street. Nigga, these tacos was twenty dollars. There's nothing under eighteen dollars. And I only got three of these bitches. Look. Very cool. Not twenty dollars worth cool though. I mean, all no, it's a cool experience. You know what I mean? It's not nothing. It's definitely something you would want to experience at least once in your life because you get to see multiple artists. But like I said, don't don't go by yourself. If you if you want to get the maximum experience, if you want to go by yourself and you feel like you can enjoy it by yourself, fine. Because I enjoyed it by myself. I'm just telling you. I mean, this is pretty short, but that's okay because we still streaking. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all in the next video.